Well, one of the top electoral contests in Montana this year that's not getting much attention is the race for attorney general. Incumbent Republican Tim Fox is running for governor, and two Democrats and two Republicans are in the race to fill that open seat. MTN's Mike Dennison looks first at the Democratic primary between Kim Dudick of Missoula and Ralph Graybill of Helena. Attorney Kim Dudick of Missoula has been a state legislator since 2013 and has passed more than two dozen bills on issues like human trafficking, bullying in school, and fighting child abuse. She says that background is one thing that makes her a good choice for attorney general. I've been out there on the front lines doing this work, earning the respect that I have in the field and in the legislature for what we've been able to get done. Her opponent in the Democratic primary is 31-year-old Rafe Graybill, who is chief counsel to Governor Steve Bullock. Graybill points to his record of going to court on behalf of Montana in major cases, such as beating big tobacco on vaping rules and the Trump administration to shine a light on dark money. The attorney general's job is not to cut deals in the legislature. Their job is to go to court when Montanans need it the most and stand up in court and be an advocate for us. For example, Graybill has a plan to take on the prescription drug industry for alleged price gouging and other issues he says keep drug prices too high. The practices that we talk about in the plan, like illegal price fixing, like pay to delay schemes, which take billions of dollars from us and give them to prescription drug companies, those are illegal now. But the reason they go on, the reason they're so widespread, is we haven't made it a priority in Montana to fight those schemes. Dudek also says she'd like to take on the high cost of health care as attorney general, but that she would take aim at illegal drugs as well, such as methamphetamine. But I think that more needs to be done to ensure that we have enough treatment in our state and that we have programs like uh, pretrial diversion programs or deferred prosecution programs that can help citizens or treatment courts. But the case each candidate must make in the primary election is who can win in November against the Republican nominee and Green Party candidate Roy Davis. The 45-year-old Dudek believes she has broad appeal with her background both as a nurse, a lawyer, and a lawmaker working with both parties to pass legislation. If you want to get elected, you have to have developed relationships with people across the state where you prove that we have the same issues we care about, like human trafficking prevention or dealing with child abuse. Graybill says he's built a better campaign, raising more money than any other candidate, and notes that a national Republican attorney general's group is already buying up TV time this fall in Montana. And we've been working this thing really hard for a long time, and that was because we knew November was going to be an uphill climb, and we wanted to build a campaign that could win. So who can win in November to occupy the attorney general's office in this building behind me? That's the question for Democratic voters in the primary, and it's also a prominent issue in the Republican primary, which we'll look at tomorrow. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Thanks so much, Mike. Well, ballots will be mailed to all registered voters on May 8th, a week from this Friday.